Hi, I'm addicted to high-end camera bags. Today, I'm going to show you this bag I got my hands on. It's the Cecilia bag, and it's a beautiful bag. It's a simple bag. It's high quality. It looks nice, and it doesn't look like a camera bag. I think that's what all photographers look for. They look for camera bags that don't look like camera bags. So this is a, a bag that um, not only looks beautiful, but it could fit a solid amount of gear in here. Not only that, but it could fit in my Mobile Studio Pro 16, which is larger than a 15 inch computer. So I've been having trouble finding an everyday bag that carries that thing. Are you guys ready to do this? Let's do it. Okay, so this does not have bells and whistles. Don't get excited for me to pull out straps and pull out all kinds of crazy stuff from all over the place. This is not a peak design bag. This is for someone who likes simple things, high quality and looks nice. All right, this side over here does not have anything. It would be nice to see a water bottle holder or something here, but I don't blame them. This bag does not have any bulk and they don't want to add any bulk in any way to it. This side over here, slim pocket, made for a passport wallet, stuff like that. Um, yeah, okay, so over here we have one strap that is hidden but it's for a tripod. You could clamp a tripod from there down to the bottom over here, which has a pouch. The tripod goes in there, gets buckled at the top. Over here has a rain cover. I am not going to take that out. I'm pretty sure you need a degree in backpacking, more like a PhD in backpacking to get these rain covers out and then back in. You see, I, can't, I didn't even take it out and I can't close the zipper. All the bags are the same. They all have this thing that you can't get back in. Alright, so let's talk about the inside of this thing. The back over here, cool padding for your back. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Alright, so over here, um, I was told that this is more for like mirrorless systems, but I'm going to show you how I can fit in not only one DSLR, but two and a computer. It's really shallow bag. You see how slim it is? So it's pretty amazing that I could fit all this in here. My D800, my D850, Oh yeah, 35 oh yeah, and an 85 one four, oh yeah. My favorite combo. If you can't create magic with this, you probably can't do it with anything. That's the truth. I still haven't figured out how to use these cameras and, uh, and lenses, but when I do, I'll let you guys know. So this is my water bottle that fits in here. Just until I get to a photo shoot, after that I could probably just take that water bottle out and uh, put it at the top over here. The top here, really cool. So it's just an empty space that you can access from the inside of the bag or from the top, which I'll show you in a minute. Over here I have batteries, clothing clips. This is my Hold Fast Money Maker. This is the next piece of Oya oh yeah gear. Such a nice piece. I love it. Double camera strap. Boom shakalaka. So we're closing that up. I'll show you how you access the top in a second. Before I do, two zippers over here for more Oya oh yeah situations. And then over here, we have the Mobile Studio Pro All-in-One Computer by Wacom. Wacom, Wacom. Wake her, wake him. Um, slides in over here. You can see, perfect fit. I've never found a bag that could fit this thing this perfectly. The leather strap does not work, so this might fall out, smash, and I just lost $3,000. I'm fine with that. Um, and here is the main thing, that I could close the zipper easily without any stress at all. Boom, boom. No stress at all on the zipper. So this $500 bag will not get damaged, hopefully. Okay, so let's talk about the bag. This is the zipper at the top. This is like quick access. So I have my strap up over here, but once I have that out, I can put my water bottle in here. I could fit my UE Boom speaker inside there if I wanted instead. Still fits, beautiful. I could even put my tuna sandwich and my potato chips in there. All right, so over here we have two more pouches. We have another pocket over here. The cool thing about this bag actually is that the entire inside comes out. All the dividers, the top divider at the, at the top, totally take it out. You could put like a, like a newborn baby, maybe even two babies inside here. You could put lots of tuna fish sandwiches inside there. You could put, I don't know, you could put like 10 laptops inside here if you wanted. Anyways, this is a slick bag. Let me, let me put this on, show you guys how this looks with it on me. I'm a small dude, I'm 5'8", but I weigh 125 pounds. I'm underweight on the girls chart. Don't tell my mom, I do eat food, I promise. You can see how this looks. I could do my dance with it. 
But the main thing is that it's a high quality bag and it doesn't look like a camera bag, which is something I've always looked for. This is for the select few people out there um, that like simple, clean. It's hard to find that in the photography industry. People who don't want straps and buckles. You, you, don't, you don't carry modifiers and light stands on this. You can't, you can't like strap your model to it or anything like that. It's just simple. It's clean. It's beautiful. It's nice. I just want to sleep with it. Such a nice bag. Um, they make this in other versions as well. Black leather. This is the chestnut. They also make this in twill. It's like a canvas type of material. Um, and if you're the kind of guy who's going to throw this around, which you probably aren't if you're buying this kind of bag, but you would go with that version. It, it won't get scratched up, banged up. It's easy to clean. This, if you scratch it, which I'm not going to try that right now, um, it'll show the scratches on it. Some leathers look nicer with time, some don't. I'm not sure. I'm not going to test it on this bag. It's an expensive bag. But um, that's it. That's my review on it. I hope this bag turns you on the way it turns me on. And if you have any questions, let me know. I do not get paid to make this video. I don't have any links, as you'll see in the description. No links, no commission, no affiliate, nothing. I just want to collect high-end bags. I'm addicted to high-end bags. I love them. I just want to review them and show you guys. I couldn't find any reviews on this. So until next time, let me know what bags I should review next. My baby. My new baby. Cecilia, I love you.